So everyone, you're at your board, open up your pen. Here I see a marker, then I see a highlighter, and then I see a write to text. Now, underneath each option is my levels of thickness. So if I choose my marker, and then you see your colors, right? The last one on the bottom is my color wheel picker. So that color that shows up there is going to be the color that you have chosen from the color wheel, right? I'll choose that, touch it. I'm gonna make it nice and thick. Practice writing something and choose a thickness you like. So everyone has their preference, right? And this is all in your personal preference. So I touch this again, it put me back defaulted black, that's fine. And it always defaults me to skinny. I put it to the middle. Not too much of a difference in those looks. And then last I have my skinniest one. Definitely a different in that one. Now, I wanna erase it. Where's my eraser? It's your hand or your fist. So you can do like this, like this, or you can do whole hand. Basically, any touch point is gonna show up as erasing it. So when you're writing, if you notice that something's been erased, it could be that your elbow touched it. All right, so back in my pen, the highlighter. So I'm gonna write S-A-I-S-D. Go ahead and write something as well. We are just practicing getting a feel for it. Then I'm choosing my highlighter and then I'm going to highlight, right? If you say you're writing a sentence on the board and you have your students come up to highlight words, you've asked them to look for a word pattern, a word spelling pattern, or maybe it's a sight word, right? Or maybe it's um, the vocabulary word you're working on. They can come up, use a highlighter and highlight, kind of like the yellow tape we use in our books, right? I'm gonna erase it. And then last we have our write to text. Now in this feature, everything you write is going to turn to text like you typed it, okay? Um, I do wanna say, if you kind of pause and you're in a word, part of your word, word will turn and the other part will turn later and then they'll be separated. So if you, whatever you write, you would want to write smoothly together. If you wanna write another word, pause for a second and then do the next word. So I'm gonna write a sentence. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna change it, right? I want text, I want black. I'm gonna do a little thick. And you can see my text is changing. Go ahead and pause. Practice the same thing. Okay, now that you're back, you've practiced writing it, see what it is. Something I like about this is now I can move my entire word. What if you had a sentence up here started and your students had to fix it, right? A mix and fix the sentence. You could even do it as a word. So if I do this, pause and do each letter separately. Now I can mix the word. Let's look, I wrote those too close. Did you see my V and E? That's fine. This, these, I cannot erase. So this is a nice feature. If you know you're going to have your students on the board doing some work, they can't erase it easily with their hands. So erase it, I touch, I get the little drop down, and I delete. And that's how I delete. Now notice when I opened up these, um, let me do have, let's see if it does it for us. It's giving me suggestions. Like, did you mean these other words? So if you're close, but it's not right, do that little carrot down and see if it gives you the correct word. All right, go ahead and pause if you need to. Practice those skills, finding the different pins, practice writing with the pins, and then come back. 